The whole thing is God and man one. God and man was one there, and God and man is one here. What is it? Being filled with his spirit, him having the preeminences, that was God's achievement. That's God's purpose to do that, that he might be in Christ and Christ in us and all of us together one. This is God's achievement. This is God's purpose. And now we we have to continually, like I said, make God's purpose our purpose. Because God's purpose is the correct purpose. If you want to know what your purpose is in this life, this is your purpose, amen? That, that Christ would live in you, that Christ would express through you, that Christ would manifest through you, that by the new birth you'd be part of that new creation, that new race, amen, a super race, a super church, not where you have something to do, but where he has something to do in you, amen? His life in you, your life gone, surrendered, laid down, and now his life taking free and it's in taking control. That's God's achievement. That's God's great purpose. Amen. That's the continuation of the creation of God. That should be our main purpose. Not religious rhetoric. Not a pep rally. Not words that make people feel good. I can stand up here and start screaming about your eagles and and this and that and get everybody so excited. But if you're excited about being an eagle and excited about being bride, but you go out Monday and live the old life, the old nature, there's no no new race, amen? There's no new creation, amen? What was the purpose of the pep rally? The purpose of coming to church is not just to get excited and feel good and go home having got a dose of medication that'll make you feel good for another few days. But the purpose, Brother Bam says, we come here to see our bad parts. We come here to see where where we need to grow, where we need to change. We come here so that we can realign with the purpose of God and stop getting distracted by other things. So that Monday morning we wake up and we know when your feet hit the floor, what am I alive for? What am I here for? Why am I in this time? Why has this word been revealed to me? What am I doing on this earth and what is God's great purpose? Amen. Amen. We can have a good time, but I don't want a good time with no fruit. I want fruit in my life. I want this to be a living reality. I want it to be genuinely, amen, the the continuation of the creation of God. Amen. 